Good evening and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. <clears throat> As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support the channel, you can definitely support the channel via Cash App or the heart button. You can click on that and leave a donation. Um, that's at the bottom of the screen. Also, if you would like to become a member, definitely click the join button. I hope that you guys are doing good on this um, this Friday. You know, it's a, it's beautiful in my area. It feels so good outside. Um, but I wanted to get on here and talk about a subject matter that I've heard someone, I've heard people talk about before, and I've kind of just scratched the surface on it. Haven't really said a whole lot about it. And, um, but someone, you know, posted a comment in my comments up under one of my videos today, and we kind of had a conversation. And that's why I'm talking about this. And he talked about, you know, um, Young Dolph signed the op, okay? And if I'm not mistaken, I believe, I'm sure he's going to look at this video. He had told me that he was really cool with Stray Drop, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, um, I'm sure he'll come in and, and, and let me know whether I got that wrong or not. But I don't think I did. But um, this young man um, spoke about he felt like Dolph was playing both sides and things of that nature. And, uh, you know, I, I'd heard that before, you know, um, that, you know, they felt like Dolph was playing both sides. Me, I feel like that's kind of thin because regardless of what a person does, uh, they don't have a right to take their life. If Dolph was just any old Joe Blow that was not out here making any money, they would not have had an urgency. And see that anger starts to rise when I talk when I think about how our community is. If Dolph wasn't making the money that he was making, they wouldn't have had an urgency to take him out. It had every damn thing to do with jealousy. Okay. Now oh, I have to calm myself down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all a video. And before I show the video, I just want to say, you know, I never knew the young men um, that um, unfortunately met an untimely demise. And I think it was the brothers, J Money and D Money. Now I've heard people, I thought the younger brother, I think he was the darker complected one. I thought his name was D Money, but I've heard people call him J Money. Okay. Um. People have, I've heard people kind of talk about the relationship um, that Dolph had with them. I've seen him in pictures. Um, I think the taller brother met an untimely demise um, first. And then I, maybe a couple years later, um, his younger brother, which I'll just say is D Money, because I thought the taller one name was J Money. You know, I don't know met an untimely demise, you know, which is unfortunate because I don't like to see young people um, life cut short. I absolutely don't. And <clears throat> the rumor is, is that Dolph signed Big Unk and Big Unk um, was supposedly the brother's opposition or something like that. And we didn't feel like he kept it real and things in nature. I, I, I have a lot to say about that as it relates to us because we're committing genocide on each other. Our community is absolutely pathetic. Okay. And I hate to say it like that. Like nobody takes us serious because we so damn pitiful. Jealousy. If you dare get out there and work hard, to try to amass anything for yourself. You have a target on your back, which is why I don't give a goddamn about the FBI taking all these motherfuckers to jail because they going, okay? And they going for the rest of their damn life, okay? Because at this point, as, you know, as much as I have high regards for some black men, some black men just absolutely evil and devilish, and we don't even need them in our community. They need to be up under some, Okay? And I know I'm in my feelings when I say that, but it's a damn shame when men who are some of God's most chosen ones get out there and be self-destructive. Not only that, they are destructive to the women and the children who they are supposed to be protecting and providing for. Ain't shit. Look for the women to take care of them. 
okay? But this video ain't about that. I digress on that. Ooh, ooh, bring me back. Cow gun, bring me on back, okay? But what I wanted to do was I had seen several pictures. You know, when people start saying, well, he signed the op, people playing both sides, this, this, and that. You know, you can't tell a person who not to do business with. People have stores. Hey, I know damn well you ain't going to tell nobody who can come in and pay in and out of their store and patronize their store. Hell, they don't tell Arista, Sony, um, Clyde Davis, and, and Columbia, and all of them record companies, when they were signing in and everybody, they better not have said a damn thing about a goddamn op. And they, they, I bet they would have dared, just like Soldier Boy dared to say to Vlad what he had said to some of these black artists like Dolph putting money all on top of his head. I bet you, you couldn't have paid him. He'd have put a hit on you for daring him to do it, to put some money out and talk about he going to put a hit on Vlad. His energy was different with Vlad. And so people sit up and talk about what Dolph signed the ops. Dolph was a business owner. He was a he was a he was a label owner. He was signing talent. And people got in their feelings about that. Okay. But I wanted to, you know, I just I wanted to show this. You know, this is what I wanted to show. Okay. And I don't know what Dolph's relationship was with um with with d money and and j money i, I you know i don't know but you know i just i want to hey, show me. this i just want to show this that's black youngster right there y'all see black youngster this is a video and i'm really i have it on mute because i want y'all to see this that's a video with black youngster and um Rich Lord and all of them. We see black youngster. Okay. All right. Now I want y'all to see something because this was put out in 2016. Okay. I just want y'all to pay close attention to this video because I was looking for some more. Um, I was looking for some more um, pictures because I know there's some pictures. Every time I start, I started trying to get into my finish up my cold case. Okay, now that's deep. That's the 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 darker complected one right there behind Rich Lord. He out there with Black Youngster them. Okay, Okay, so that's what I want y'all to do. I want because deep uh, the darker complected one who I thought name was D Money, he's out there hanging with Black Youngster them right now, and that was back in 2016. Okay, so when people when people come over to my page and comment in my page, okay, on my page, and from my understanding, you know, um. I believe that Doc was into the to it with them even back then. Okay, because if I'm not mistaken, that, that van was shot up in 2016 or 2017. Okay. So hold on. Let me see. Cause it, I, I want y'all to get a, a, a bigger. You can just That's 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 my point. I want y'all to see that he was out there with them, and that was in 2016. And let me see when Dolph's van was shot up. Young Dolph van shot up. Okay, 
February of 2017. Let me go back to that video. Okay. This video was put out in. Shit. Sometimes it shows the six years ago. So it, it was put out in 16 like I initially had saw. Sometimes it show up, but I had just looked at it. It was put out in 2016, okay? And, you know, the, they were supposedly rocking tight with Dolph then, and Dolph was into it uh, with Black Youngster in them and, and all of that, okay? So my point is we don't necessarily know what was going on, the reason why, you know, um, you know, I mean, th there are other pictures of that young, that particular young man, and that was the darker complected one hanging out. That's who they say they're mad at Dolph for signing. They took Dolph out allegedly because they was pissed off about him signing Big Unk. But he's out there hanging with black youngster. So it, it goes far beyond that. It has nothing to do with anything other than a murder for hire and jealousy. That's it. That's all. That's what the FBI said. That's what the Memphis Police Department said. And that's why they're going to get them niggas asses. OK, so I mean, hey, I, you know, I get so tired of um, black people feeling like, you know, they could just take somebody out just because. And then they want to stand on their soapbox after they've been taken away from their whole family. Yeah, I took that nigga out. When deep in your heart, nigga, you know you ain't shit for putting yourself in a position because of your jealousy to get taken away from your damn kids and leaving your baby mama out there for nut with nothing. You ain't shit. I love her some money. I love her 10 grand. What you think 10 grand gonna do in a year? What you think 20 grand gonna do for the rest of your child's life? Not a goddamn thing. Okay. But when it's all said and done, they had no right to take his life. He could sign whoever he want to sign. It ain't had nothing to do with that. They was over there dealing with black youngster. And that was Dolph's so-called op. Dolph didn't take them out. So these people got the issues confused. I'm so tired of that BS. Straight Drop was probably probably already on some snake stuff when he was hanging up on the key Glock them and they found his ass out. That's why he put that post up a few years back telling Teaser that's supposed to be us. The jealousy has always been geared at key Glock. They so jealous of him now they want to get at him now. But I, and I and and what bothers me is some of these folks ain't got shit to lose. They ain't shit. Ain't got shit. Ain't shit. And they see this young man got everything going for him. They saying, I'm already, I already ain't, ain't nothing to myself. They don't think anything of themselves. And they'll feel better being in jail for the rest of their lives, taking out somebody like they did young Dolph that's got something going for themselves. That's the condition that our community is in. And you got these old motherfuckers pushing these young dudes who are already troubled and gassing them up, telling them they doing the right thing because these bitches is jealous too. I'm sick of this shit. Okay. Black men are supposed to be on their throne. Instead, they taking people out of here who dare to be great instead of getting about their damn business to be great. Okay. So when it's all said and done, you know, when people try to blame Key Glock, all them damn folks went to school together. Hell, they all around the same age. Folks turn enemy and snake. They People have snakes up under them all the time. All you can do is pray God reveal the damn snakes. Okay? That's all you can do. You stay on your face praying God to reveal them. And I'm sure the dog saw some shit because I just saw that. To me, you know, with them shooting up Dolph's car, sending out, dissing him on tracks, trying to take him out, I think that was a snake move. You can't, you, you know, you all up under my enemy. I, I don't rock like that. But people are so quick to put everything at the feet of Dolph. Okay. And I don't know the situations with the brothers. I don't even like speaking on the brothers. 
because they're no longer here. But I think the young brothers are being used because of a more sinister thing. I think that's that's evil. They using their death to do something that they wanted to do out of jealousy anyway. They wrong. They ain't had nothing to do with that. You didn't even really hear them even talking about them young boys until that had unfortunately met an untimely demise until young Doc was taken out because people have to justify their wrong. The people that pay for the hit it really show nothing, give a damn about it. They just use the emotions. Okay. Of uh, emotionally unstable young adults. Okay. Okay. to go and do something that they're going to regret for the rest of their lives. And what I have to say about this is you old niggas. And then people be saying, you sure do be giving these younger kids. I've mentored the kids that are like straight drops in them age. And I don't give them no passes. When they do wrong, they got to pay. But I've men I mentored kids their age. I got children their age. I know they don't listen. They ask as hard as eggs. They had as hard as eggs. And that's the reason why they end up in the conditions and positions that they are in. But these old niggas that's instigating this, they wrong as hell. Instead of trying to tell these kids something, that's the reason why God lining y'all's asses up and getting y'all asses up out of here. You ain't no good to your women or your children. You ain't shit. Anytime you can fix your mouth and, and do things to ruin somebody else's kids and try to lead them right, you ain't shit to the community because the black men are supposed to be leading the damn community. A lot of them ain't shit. Y'all taking the ones out of here that's got the capability of doing it. It ain't nothing right about what they did. And somebody ought to be telling them that you don't take no damn life. They should have been doing all they could to stop it. Instead, it was some niggas that knew it was going to go on. And they was glad that they was getting ready to crash out. That's taking out their competition. And them niggas going to have to pay for it too. Because God going to get them back. Because he said, when I get them back for what they did, you're going to see me get them back. But see, don't nobody really don't nobody really fear God no more. When you tell them what well, God going to get them back, they start laughing. <laughs> But that's the biggest hitter, I'm telling you, because I done seen it. And God works through people like MPD homicides, the FBI, the DEA, the marshals, and the ATF. And I'm telling you, they out there spinning. But people are so jealous. They feel like, especially if they didn't have no hand in it, but they knew it was going to happen. They smirking. Well, I ain't going to go to jail, but I'm glad he did. He can't make no more money. That's the position that our people are in. Our black men is sad on so many levels. What do these kids have to look up to? This garbage? Then have the nerd to talk about, well, don't no black woman respect me. Don't no black woman respect you. Don't know how to conduct yourself. Going to fits of rages. Disrespectful. Pathetic. Don't even know how to control yourself. Evil. And it takes God to come down and start removing all of this cancer out of the community so that a, a generation of, of men, first of all, so that those black men that are some good can live and have longevity and be with their families. Okay, because they be wanting to take them out. I'm going to kill him because he can take care of his family. I can't. And then these ones that's coming up. They won't be ruined. They don't have bad examples. So I don't want to hear nothing else about Dow sign the op. Because we don't know what was going on with that. Because we saw that young man right there hanging out with Black Youngster. And that was Dow's op. Okay? So we don't necessarily know what went on with that. And it's a lot of people, I feel like, disrespecting these young men. Because they using them to try to justify what they've done. When I don't even think they gave a damn about them. Really? But people always try to justify their wrong and they dare wrong for that. Okay? But in the end, they're going to see 
It's consequences behind what they did because Dolph can sign whoever he want to. He was a damn label. I bet you you couldn't pay them to go to Clive Davis and ask them why you sign that person now. Like they ain't going to look at him in the damn eye if he walked through. He going to tell them y'all need to get along. Yes, sir. That's all they going to say. Okay. But a black man, they want to take out. And there's consequences for that because God ain't pleased with that. The people that's out here investigating this case ain't pleased with it. And those who didn't have anything to do with it, but deep down they was hating and they kind of glad that they took him out for nothing other than he was successful. You're going to always be a damn loser. Get a, do your kids a favor. And pray for God to send their, their mamas a man, a real man that can set examples for them because you pitiful. Anytime you jealous of a man because he can get out and got the wherewithal to get out and get it out the mud while you want to be at home sleeping and slobbing, eating cereal with milk running, all the kids cereal with milk running all down your damn chin and snot running out your nose and don't want to work. Who wants you? But you got the nerve to be jealous of somebody else that get out and get it out the damn mud and they ain't killing nobody to get it. So I don't want to hear nothing else about because there's some pictures I was looking for. I couldn't find it. So I don't know what went on with that situation, but y'all need to reevaluate that because people try to justify wrong. It ain't no justification in it. It's wrong. It's wrong. Okay. But anyways, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Because, see, I can go on and on and on with that. Big Up was just signed, what, last year? Dolph signed him. Dolph been going back and forth with God and them since about 2016, 2015. And yet we see the very guys that I'm hearing that they, well, we took, they took him out because of that. Hanging with Dolph's up. So that ain't it that that's not it it goes back to it had nothing to do with anything other than jealousy and greed and being hired that's it that's all okay because a person can do whatever they want to do as it relates to their business okay suppose they had said he was playing both sides it ain't no justification in taking nobody's life. Just like whatever happened to those young men, it ain't no justification. And those were lives taken. The only thing I know is they said Big Unk was found not guilty. But people are so, and, and I don't like to get into that because I don't, I don't, I don't, I have not dug into that and I'm not going to. Okay. The only thing I know is that it is an unfortunate situation that happened to young men that had a whole lot of life ahead of them. And you got a bunch of living fools that's using what they did to Dolph. OK, using these young men to justify what they did to Dolph. It's wrong. It's dead. It's, uh, it's dead wrong. OK, it's dead wrong. Our people need some repair and I'm serious. Our people need some repair. All right, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe, okay? Talk with you later.